This one line struck me in the first reading. So the Lord tells Samuel to go and to um, anoint David uh, as the king. And Samuel says, how can I go? Saul will hear of it and kill me. And this is a very honest uh, relationship that he has. You know, sometimes we can kind of candy coat our relationship with Almighty God, trying to put on our best face, you know, saying, okay, oh yes, whatever you say, Almighty God, and even though we have these fears and discouragement and other things behind us, I'm reminded of um, uh, Father Benedict Rochelle when he came to Manchester one time. Uh, he was talking about uh, the difference between, for instance, the British and the Jewish prophets and the like. He says, the British says, it was a mite bit uncomfortable where the, the Jewish mentality you get from St. Paul, every day I'm being put to death. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, well, there's, there's a big difference. But what is this? Samuel is in such a close relationship with Almighty God, he has the freedom to be able to be himself. He says, I'm afraid. How can I go? Saul will hear of it and kill me. The Lord says, well, this is how you're going to go about it. But... And he trusted the Lord, and he, did, he, he was obedient to the Lord. But a lot of times, I think, we try to put like this false front on our relationship with Almighty God. Oh yes, God, everything is wonderful, everything is awesome, everything is cool when we're part of a team, and it's all great and wonderful, but then what happens? We're not really getting at the true fears, the true struggles that we have. Rather, it would be better if we say, Lord, you see the mess that I am. I am totally... Uh, apart, falling apart. And you're asking me to go do this. And the Lord will say, yes, I am asking you to go do this. Watch how I work through your brokenness. Watch how I work through your littleness, your messiness. Are we truly honest in our prayer with Almighty God? I remember Christopher West talking about how he was on retreat one time and he just, at one point, just got so upset with Almighty God. This, and he's just going on and about all this, and he's talking to his spiritual director at uh, one of the sessions, and he says, oh, this, I have to go to confession, Father. And he starts talking about how he railed at Almighty God. And his spiritual director looked at him and said, that is true prayer. He thought he was going to say, that is a mortal sin. But he says, that is true prayer. Where he's finally able to be honest enough with Almighty God. To be able to place himself, his brokenness, his fears, his struggles before the Lord. We, we put on so many masks in our lives, you know, because it's probably not a good thing for us to let everyone see all this stuff that's going on in our lives. It's good to have appropriate boundaries with, with different people. But with Almighty God, we should, could be, we should be completely free to be able to say, you know the mess that I am. Here, look at this. I tried doing this over and over and over again. I failed. Lord, how can you be asking me to do this? I, I'm afraid. You know, all these things to be able to place the truth of who we are before Almighty God. And then, when we do, we'll see how God then says, no, 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 don't tell me about your junk. Or, no, 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 I, I, I don't think you're that bad. No, he'll say, yep, you got it. And still... I will work with you. Watch how I work, even through that brokenness, that messiness. Watch how I will overcome your fears, if you but trust and obey me.